All right, today we're going to convert a ATX computer power supply to a bench supply for 12 volt output, 5 volt output, or 3.3 volt output. Now the first thing I'm going to do is remove the cover. Now there's a few colors we need to be concerned about. Um, there are some variations on the ATX power supply, different versions. So some of the wires, basically this is a simple version, so from here there's only more. Um, a good source on the internet would tell you what each wire does. Now I'm just going to go ahead and, for now, cut every wire. All right, now that all the wires are separated, I just wanted to point out, for example, it's right here, but it usually is, there's a sticker similar to this on the supply that will tell you the current rating. On this, they're telling you the DC output for 3.3 volts is 20 amps, and they're telling you that it's orange. Um, right here, you have 20 amps, or I'm sorry, over here you have 30 amps on red, which is your 5 volt, and they're telling you between, down below here, between the 3.3 volt and the 5 volt, 185 watts maximum, so that's from these two combined. And then 12 volt yellow is 15 amps. Now, the lowest amperage we have obviously is 15. This 18 gauge wire is not suitable for 15. So you have two options. You can either hack them all off, even strip them all, twist them together, Or, you have the option of removing them from the board, which I'm going to show you with the 3.3 volts, which is this color. You just simply take a soldering iron, heat up the back, and they should all pull out. Now, take note of where those went out, because you'll need to put another wire in there. case you can put a heavier wire. And I just so happen to have 12 gauge orange. So we'll use 12 orange. Now I'm going to push my 12 gauge wire through the hole that I just drilled. get it to lay reasonably straight if it's going to be slightly crooked make it crooked in the direction facing the other holes and then from there you just pretty much solder it up now my three volt side is finished do that for the remaining of the pairs Now on this particular supply, all you have to do to turn it on is simply short the green wire to ground, which was the black. So what I did was I left, I reattached one of the black wires after I had soldered one of mine, and they're all the same color just because that's the only color wire I have right now. I flagged this one with electrical tape so you know that's your ground. One of these is 3.3, one of them is 12, and one of them is 5, 5.5 or whatever. And that's the wire. So basically, to, when you fire this up, you just put your meter on it and test them. I'm eventually going to be putting banana plugs in the back of the case and labeling everything so the colors in the end won't matter, but... If it makes it easier, as you attach them, you could flag them somehow with, like, white electrical tape and write on 12 volts to make it easier. So anyhow, I left, I reattached one of the black wires to ground. That just makes it easier, because this would be, if you wanted a power switch, 
on your supply, these two wires would be shorted together or would go to a switch. So it just makes it easier to wire and easier to understand when you're troubleshooting. If you don't remember what you did, you physically see these tied together, you know why. And as far as the rest of the wires, you just simply um, can unsolder those from the board. So the blue is not needed, so we'll just find the blue. We'll just simply unsolder it from the board and purple we also don't need. The reason I did this as opposed to twisting them is it's a lot neater and the reason since they're all tied together at a common point the reason you would want to do this well electrically it's a good connection. You got one single wire carrying the current and you know it's not going to melt because this is 12 gauge wire and chances of you drawing anything higher than 20 amps is rare. I mean, this is technically good to 25, probably 30 amps, and not overheat. And then these wires you simply trim down, reaffix your board, and you, these would go to your binding posts. And from any one of these wires, 3.3 .3 to ground, that's 3.3, .3, this would be 5 volts to ground would be your 5 and your 12 volts to ground would be 12 and again since they're all the same color and I did it this way you're going to want to verify that with your meter some of these supplies require a load on the 5 volt side because they use the 5.5 volt side as a reference um, right now I have 1193 on the 12 volt side if I connect this light bulb on the 5.5 volt side it goes up to 1224. This could be accomplished by either leaving a bulb in the circuit or just using a resistor to ground. Approximately um, 10 watts is roughly where you would want to be drawing and that stabilizes the load. Okay. my 3 volt wire. Bob's lighting. It's my 12 volt wire. And that's my 5.5 volt wire. 5.5, 12, and 3. 